Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the number 10 Montana Grizzlies traveling to take on the number 3 Dayton Flyers. Flyers 3-0 on the season, Montana 1-0. This is a big, big game. Two top 10 teams, nationally televised game. Uh, Montana beat Dayton last season and went on to win the Big Ten. And the Dayton Flyers, of course, would go on to the national championship game and get throttled by the Savannah State Tigers. But yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can do this. Ray Neal, the starting quarterback for Montana from last season, is now the starting quarterback for the New Jersey Invaders in the Elite Football League, which hopefully sometime this week we'll be having some EFL games. All right, let's see. Let me make sure I got the right offense here because I, I forget like every single time. And I don't want to run the wrong offense. All right, we're going run and gun. Let's do it. Head coach, Robert Garnett Jr. This is his uh, first season under uh, with the Dayton Flyers. Let's go with that uniform. I like it. All right. Montana, Dayton, number 10, number 3. Let's get it. Let's see who we got in the chat. Who we got? So far we got, let's see, Jay Washington up in this beast. What's up? What's up, Jay? How you doing? Uh, Tyler Rocky, Ron Kemp, Marvin Joseph, Bryson Shields. How's everybody doing? Revenge Tour. Yes, sir. Flyers out for blood tonight. Zachary Joseph. What's going on, brother? You going with Dayton? I would hope so. Come on now. Don't pick against my thumb skills. All right, we are going to be on uh, offense first. Let's take a look at that offense before we do the kickoff. A few quarterbacks here. Dorian Wura is the starting quarterback. Jared Martin is the number two. And Noah Johns is the number three. Sonny Six, Smash Jackson, and Jared Brody in the backfield. Receiving core, Amari Manuel, Ron Kemp, and Matt Wheaton. Kemp and Wheaton, both true freshman receivers. Here is Amari Manuel. And a decent return for him. And the rest of the offense. Oh, Casey Eugene is injured for Montana. The rest of the offense, Trent Green and James Skaggs, both tight ends for the Dayton Flyers. All right. For some reason on my TV, it's just so bright, and I don't know why. Little Mike in the chat, Alex Couture. What's going on, guys? John Jensen. Hope you guys are all doing well. Why is my TV so bright? Oh my goodness. All right, pick up a four. As always, do not forget to slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community if you have not already. We'd love to see all you guys in there. Get yourself some players, you know. Uh-oh. Okay, he's gone. Goodbye. Amari Manuel. What a start for the Flyers. Touchdown, Dayton. Let's go. Your question is VMI Savannah State tonight. No, that is going to be tomorrow night. I don't know how often we're going to be doing uh, double headers for me after getting home from work. Don't mind me, I'm just throwing things at one of the cats. Greatest power back of all time, Earl Campbell. What's up? Next question. And, all right. Fantastic, let's go. We got Montana in an upset, 38-35. I like the pick, I do. I'm hurt, but I like it. Jay, what's the point spread, buddy? I didn't get a chance to look at the pick'em. Extra point is up and good. It's 7-0 here. 36 seconds into the matchup. What about John Riggins? Oh, he was he was good too. I'd say he's top five for power back. Seven point spread. That seems pretty accurate, I think. Especially since Montana beat the Flyers last season. 
Nice, Slocum, get him. Let's go, sit down, son. Am I dating? Yes, sir. Casey Eugene, upper arm bruise, he will return for the Grizzlies. I will use Rob Orlandi, of course, because he's such a god in this game. Mike Allstott, Allstott was a fullback, though. Let's go. Let's go, Rob. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's get it. Tyler, you got the Flyers winning 70 to 21. My goodness. Greatest fullback, Mike Allstott. Come on now. No question. I think the greatest blocking fullback of all time is probably Lorenzo Neal. Oh boy. Smash Jackson only gets a couple yards. Dayton playing mad. <laughs> Just a little bit. Gotta get some revenge on these guys from last season. They snagged the win and got the Big Ten championship because of it. Throw it up. Oh, he's wide open. Trent Green, touchdown, Dayton. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. He was wide open. Not even close. All right, we're up to 13 viewers on the stream. I like it. Fullbacks are people too. Yes, sir. Two plays, 16 yards, 24 seconds. Off to a very hot start here in Dayton, Ohio. It's like Dayton last year. Yeah, John, we have 12 schools in this series that I use. Tom Brady sucks. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I mean, he's got some Super Bowls records I would say that Tom Brady is the best quarterback of all time and I used to hate him but then I just stopped, stopped caring about you know players and liking or not liking them for one reason or another What records Drew Brees has him? Well, that'll happen when Drew Brees throws it 60 times a game. I was more or less just talking about Super Bowls and, you know, all that, all that happy stuff. Things that actually matter. I lost last year? Yeah, John, the Grizzlies beat us last season. I do lose from time to time. I know, it's, it's a crazy concept. <laughs> But I do. I lose. I think I've lost almost 80 times in this series with 12 schools combined. So not, not terrible. Drew Brees is your favorite quarterback. I can't stand Drew Brees. He's the one quarterback that I just can't stand. Every time someone gets near him or just grazes him with their hand, He's always falling down and looking at the referee, looking for a flag. I can't stand it. And Tom Brady used to be the worst, but he he hasn't really done it uh, as much as he used to anymore. What quarterback has most NFL titles? Uh, that would be Tom Brady. It's the worst loss that we've taken so far. Um, Southern Utah versus New Mexico, season one. Look it up. Good pass right side. Hollis, nice catch. That's a first down. I'm kidding, I'm a Panthers fan. It has nothing to do with being a Panthers fan. I don't have a problem with, with Matt Ryan or Jameis Winston or whatever. I mean, Winston's not there anymore anyways, but still. Oh, that's a touchdown. Oh, 
Auto Grand for the Browns has like nine championships. Yeah, something crazy like that for sure. But those were not Super Bowls. He was playing against Mailman back then. Chaos driven in the chat. What's up, brother? Oh, you gotta say Super Bowl 50? Yes, yes, we know. It's very sad. I don't even care about the NFL anymore, honestly. I just I just don't care. I pretty much stopped caring about the NFL like three years ago. Just about. It just doesn't matter to me anymore. Now, college football. I mean, I need college football for sure. I need it. I look forward to every, you know, August and September so the Miami Hurricanes can continuously let me down. That's what I'm all about. That's why we watch the FCS Dynasty. Yes, sir. I did not mean to hit the button. Feels bad. All right, that's going to make it third down and five. Let's see, what do I want to run here? Well, let's go vertical. I think Detroit will be the next 49ers. Want to go to the Super Bowl and lose? Feels bad. Who's Miami's quarterback? Uh, Eric King. De'Eric King? De'Eric King. Yeah. Let's go, Rock! Let's go! First down, Flyers! Yeah, you tra uh, transfer from Houston. It's either Eric King or D or D Eric King. I, I can't. <laughs> Why not? Okay, bro, let's go. What is this? <laughs> wow. Just simple post route, double coverage. Comes down with it. You love to see it. Let's go. Got to get the big freshman some receptions up in this beast. I know that FSU was a girl school in 1952. It still is, John. What do you mean? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I just got sacked by Mayonnaise. It feels bad. What about Tate Martell? Uh, he is like a third-string quarterback at best. He did play some... Uh, receiver and some wildcat for us last season but we do have a new offensive coordinator so hopefully uh, hopefully he can get something going with the offense because it's been pretty bad Trent Green oh what a throw Trent Green gone again touchdown Flyers let's go what a play they went for the pick whiffed on it Trent Green finds pay dirt for the second time tonight Did I major at Miami? Uh, no, I did not go to college. Eventually, I would love to do online classes to do sports broadcasting. That is my goal. Greatest quarterback at the U? Oh, man. That's, that is a tough question. You got Jim Kelly. You got Vinny Testaverde. You got Walsh. Oh my goodness. And Dorsey, of course. Nice return. Okay, okay. My goodness. Yeah, I don't know if I could just pick one quarterback as the greatest quarterback for Miami. If I had to pick, I would probably pick Ken Dorsey just because, you know, he's who I really grew up watching. But they have a lot of great quarterbacks that came out of there. The beatdown begins. Come on, Marvin. You got to give the Grizzlies some faith, brother. Come on, man. Get him. Uh-oh, fumble. Oh, of course they recover. Offensive lineman just falls on it just like that. Okay. Right. 
Oh, hey, do we want to go over the defense real quick? We'll do it after this play. Maybe. I don't even know who this quarterback is. He might be a true freshman. He might have been a backup for Neil last season. Yeah, sit down, sucker. All right, here's the defense before I forget again. Defense for the Dayton Flyers, led by Cash Harris and Tank Taylor on the D-line. Linebackers, Dirt Davis, D.B. Slocum, Rob Orlandi, and true freshman middle linebacker, Joey Garrett. Defensive backs, four corners, Gloves Malone, John Fowler, Logan Bahorek, Jermaine Price, and at free safety is Ballhawk. And here is Gloves Malone. And gets dropped at the 33-yard line. Think Jim Kelly because he took Buffalo to four Super Bowls in a row. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good reason to pick him. Like I said, I I don't want to like actually just pick one, but if I had to, I'd go with Ken Dorsey. Just because I got to watch him play live. I didn't get to watch the other ones play live. All right, Sunny Six, let's go! Oh my goodness! Touchdown Flyers again! As soon as he got the edge. Gone. Dayton is angry. I have watched every single Miami Hurricanes game from 1981 or 1980, I think. I think it was 1980. I watched every single game from then on. Obviously, I'm not in my 40s, so I didn't <laughs> I didn't watch all those games live. I'm just saying I, I went back and I watched them in the archives. Whoever said 70-21 might be a genius. That was Tyler Rocky that said that. Get him. Yep, Jim Kelly on. Yep. I do want to keep going farther back and watching the old, old Miami Hurricanes games. Oh, what a hit. McNeil. <laughs> they go from Ray Neal to some guy named McNeil at quarterback. Oh, I misplayed that. Should have been another pick for Rob Orlandi. Nate McNeil. He is 5'6", 71 yards. Touchdown and pick so far. He's not a bad quarterback. And that's going to end the first quarter. 28-7. Dayton Flyers on top. Just, you know, put, putting the beat down on him right now. You'd love to see it. Unless you're a Montana fan. Yeah, the first football game, not just college or NFL, the first football game I ever watched was the Miami Hurricanes versus the UCLA Bruins in 1995. Miami would go on to lose that game, I think, 31-7. to It wasn't close. It was not even close at all. Yeah, I watched that game. And, oh, nice broken tackle by McNeil. Okay, then. I watched that game, and Ray Lewis was just running around that field, just absolutely destroying everybody. And that is the moment that I became a Miami Hurricane fan. I was four years old. Oh, my goodness. Ray Lewis had read Sean Taylor, some of the best to play at the U on defense. Yes, sir. Sean Taylor, my personal favorite. Watched him from high school on. There's so many great players that have come out of Miami. It's it's actually insane. Oh boy. Oh, Gloves Malone got beat, but the receiver dropped it. Should Miami and Notre Dame fully revive the rivalry? Uh, yeah, I think so. 
I enjoyed the last time we played each other in, uh, in Miami. Absolute beatdown. Oh, baby! What a hit on Hollis from Rob Orlandi. Sit down. Yo, what up, Tom Schaefer? What's going on, brother? <laughs> Don't hurt Montana like this. That's what they get, man. They beat us last season. We got to put the hurting on them. We got to do it. Get him. Let's go. Tank Taylor. The mountain of a man. Brings him down for a loss of three. All right, let's pump the crowd up. Let's do it. Good luck hearing anything. Uh-oh. That was a nice run. He's gone. Maybe not. Get him, gloves. Okay. Good run. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> The Rock was on a Miami player, too. Yeah, I, I remember The Rock. I, I don't know. He didn't do a whole lot, though. He got injured. Warren Sapp took his spot and never looked back. So he didn't do a whole lot at Miami. But he still reps the U. Still shows that love. It's going to be off tackle with the left side bet. Called it. Ted Hendricks. Yes, sir. The man was a beast. I love watching his highlights from way back in the day. I believe, if I am not mistaken, he was the first ever Miami Hurricane inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. Get him! That was an easy touchdown. I know, Zachary, that, that team was just so loaded. Clinton Portis, too. Don't forget about Clinton. That was a great drive from Montana. They're not going away, guys. I got my Dr. Pepper, so I'm happy right now. After this, I'm going to have me some barbecue chicken and then do absolutely nothing because, you know, I have no life. Mario Manuel inside the 40-yard line. Great return. What's the future look like at Miami? Man, I've been asking that for, I don't know, let's see, uh, 16 years. There is no reason that Miami should not be competing for the ACC and, you know, New Year's Six Bowl games every season. There's just so much talent. The problem has been, you know, if you if you look back at the 80s and what Howard Schnellenberger did, he fenced off, you know, the state of Miami, basically. So that was, like, the bottom half of Florida. And he never let any of the talent leave that area. So he got all of that. And all that talent has been going to teams like Alabama and LSU and Clemson, you know? And that has been the biggest problem over the past 16, 17 years is being able to keep the talent home and keep them, you know, in Miami. Tell me John Fowler's in the chat. What's going on, brother? Hopefully I explained the uh, Miami problem well enough for you right there. It's been bad. The problem was 2002. Oh, you mean when they got absolutely hosed in the national championship game? The team is celebrating. There's confetti falling. Let's throw a flag. Like, what, what do you mean? Why have they failed to keep them in Miami? What are they always doing? Miami isn't? Um, that's a good question, man. I don't know. Of course, there's always rumors of, you know, the big schools, like, offering money to players and stuff like that. But a lot of the kids nowadays, they don't want to compete. They just want to go somewhere where they know they're going to win instantly. And they don't want to build up a program. Oh, I whiffed on that big time. Canes need their own stadium again. 
Yeah, although that Dolphin Stadium is absolutely beautiful. Good old Hard Rock. I've been in it. It was fantastic. Of course, it's the only stadium I've ever been in in my life, but still, it was great. Sit down. How does this guy keep recovering fumbles? Yeah, I think I think Miami not having a stadium like on campus and they didn't have an indoor practice facility until a couple seasons ago. So they were behind. I mean the um like the board of trustees or whatever and just oh my goodness, can I tackle him please? Uh, like the athletic department and just the whole institution in itself, they don't really focus on football. Like, that's not a main concern for them at all, even though it brings in, you know, a huge amount of money. But most of their money, the revenue that they bring in, goes to um, their the medicine department or whatever. I also forgot Devin Hester. Zachary, what are you doing, my guy? <laughs> Only stadiums you ever been in have been torn down. Feels bad, Marvin. Feels real bad, buddy. Who won the Bryant game last time? Which Bryant game? Yesterday? It's definitely Bryant. Deep shot. And he catches it, but he's way out of bounds, and the Flyers get the stop. All right. Gloves below. On for the return. Yeah, being a Miami Hurricanes fan for the past 16 years has just been so sad. Loves Malone up the left sideline for the touchdown. You want this? You can't have it. Sorry. All right. <laughs> the route is officially on. Let's go. Rigier Productions in the chat. What's going on, man? Devin Hester Super Bowl kick return touchdown was awesome. Uh, yeah. I remember exactly where I was when that kick return happened. And everybody in that stadium, everybody in the entire world, knew that he was going to do it. And he did it. <laughs> Stoke for VMI Savannah State. Yeah, that's going to be a great game tomorrow night. I can't wait for that one. Number one versus number two. How often do you see that? Double coverage. Oh, my goodness. Bounced off his helmet. We got lucky. Stay tuned for the halftime show. Bubba Sparks will be performing ugly. <laughs> Feels bad. This is not last year. No, sir. It is not. Montana getting spanked. Oh, gloves, what are you doing, my guy? Get a ball, Hawk. Okay. All right, that was, that was a good play. Let's see what we got here. First and 10 from our 27. See, McNeil's playing pretty good, though. 7 of 12. 124 yards, touchdown, and a pick. Oh, he's going to take off? All right. Bet. Really? Are you serious with this? Oh, my God. I cannot stand the fumble recovery animations that I get. It's just, it's so infuriating. Rob Orlandi just running around looking like he's, I don't know pulling weeds out of the ground or something. Like, what is happening? 
real life, Montana would kill them. Yeah, Dayton's not good in real life. Let's go! Get that weak sauce out of here, bruh. Did you force the fumble? Uh, we'll check that out at the end of the game, sir. It's so hard to tell game's going full speed like that. Who actually forces? This is a wide receiver screen. And Butler goes nowhere. We have a field goal. Slocum with six tackles already. Wow. Let's put the Grizzlies to sleep. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you haven't already, go ahead and slap the like button for me, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our beautiful Discord community as Montana gets on the board again here with a field goal. 42-17 to 17 is the score. 46 seconds left in the second quarter in Dayton, Ohio. Number three Flyers versus the number 10 Montana Grizzlies. Amari Emanuel from his own one yard line. Gets to the outside. Rarely see that on the right. And gets it up to the 23. Should you make a house tour vid? You do you, boo boo. You do you. Let's see what we can do here. On Kent. He's got him beat. On, oh, that was a great deflection. What a play. Oh, my goodness. First career pick for the free safety. Polite. That was just a great deflection. But when you see Ron Kemp streaking down the sideline and he's got to step on the cornerback, you got to take a shot. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. You have to take that shot. Oh, I just missed that. If only Orlandi was three feet taller. The football is still on the field. Okay, it disappeared. All right. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's going on, buddy? How you been, man? Let's go, Rob Orlandi. His second pick of the game. Let's go. <laughs> Be kind to Montana. Leave him some pride. I can't make any promises, Tom. But take it easy, bud. Yeah, I love Rob Orlandi. He's so good. He is the FCS leader in interceptions in a career. I'm glad you're doing good, Bill. I, uh, I'm alive. That's what I got going on for me right now. First down, Dorian Wurrow. We got one timeout left, 19 seconds. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, first and 10, and 27. Let's go. Oh, Amari Manuel with a nice juke move and a touchdown for the Flyers yet again. What happened to the EFL? Uh, I just need some, some more time to be able to actually stream those. But nothing happened to it. It's still here. I have two jobs right now. So my day job, I paint unfortunately I hate painting I'm good at it but I can't stand it um, so when we have rain days when it's raining here I stay home and I'll have time to actually stream the elite football league but at night I work for UPS for four hours and then I come home and I stream this right as soon as I get home basically Oh, baby, sit down. <laughs> Man. You guys a family. He did for a second. Yeah, anyway, EFL is not going anywhere, guys. Off 
tackle. That went nowhere. And that is going to be the final play of the first half. Dayton up big, 49-17 to 17 against the 10th ranked Montana Grizzlies here in Big Ten action. Our next game, number one Savannah State travels to take on the number two VMI Cadets tomorrow night around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. Uh-oh. Okay. Good return. <laughs> Is it wise to say Harris will win the Heisman as a freshman? I don't know. I mean, if he keeps up the numbers that he's got right now, he keeps up that pace, he's got a really good shot. But he's competing against, you know, the likes of Mr. Highlight, MJ Gator Jr. Justin Hobbs is having a great season. He's on there for VMI. Um, who, do, who am I forgetting? Brandon Allen as well. So a lot of big names are on that Heisman watch list. I don't think Allen's on there right now, uh, Brandon Allen. But I'm sure he'll squeeze his way back on there. But it's going to be tough for a true freshman to come in and win it. What a hit by Rob Orlandi. Nine tackles and two picks. I am beasting and feasting right now. Let's go. Tar Heels in the fourth season. Are we in the fourth season with that one? I like it. We'll get back to that eventually as well. It's all about having time. John Fowler deep in coverage. And he gets the pick. Let's go. Interception for Dayton. Let's go. The Tennessee State move up to five because of the Savannah State VMI game. If they win their game, 100%. Oh my goodness. Wow, he overthrew him by 20 yards. Goodness gracious. I just want a big play. Just a 97 yard touchdown. Is that too much to ask? Nobody's open, so might as well take off. Dorian Wura. He can run all the way to the 30-yard line. Pickup of 27. Let's go. Yeah, Dorian Wura's got an arm on him, man. He, he can throw it about 80 yards. It's insane. No, maybe not 80, but probably 65, 70 yards for sure. Strongest arm uh, in this series would probably have to be Tremaine Watson for South Dakota State. Oh, what a hit. <laughs> Wurra got lit up, but he got the first down. Only freshman who should have won Heisman is Herschel Walker. Well, technically, I mean, I'm still waiting for a true freshman to win it, you know? That's going to be awesome if it ever happens. No! Jared Brody recovers the fumble. Yeah, Herschel Walker could come in and compete right now in the NFL. Just give him a couple snaps. Come on. Give him five carries a game. That's all he'll need. He'll probably get 50 yards. Sunny six, another carry. Sunny six. All the way inside the 15-yard line. Look at that. Four carries, 115 yards. Every time he touches the ball, he's got a chance to score. He's just too fast. I hit the wrong button. I definitely hit the wrong button. 
Fizz Rivet. All right, let's get the ball off to Jared Brody. Nice little spin move, and near the first down, but it doesn't matter, it's coming back. On Amari Manuel, are you serious? All right, awesome. I am completely surrounded by cats right now. They're just all up in my office, and I'm scared. Somebody hold me. Mario Manuel's wide open for the touchdown. That was way too easy. Yeah, to get Jared Martin some playing time at quarterback now. Five touchdown passes for Amari Manuel. Or not Amari Manuel. Jeez. Dorian Wurra. That touchdown was to Amari Manuel. Junior receiver. Big time playmaker. And the 50 burger for the Flyers is completed. She's hunting, but she's literally just putting one paw in at a time, very, very slowly. Right next to my male cat, William, who is about three inches away from her. It's just, it's weird. It's all weird. Put the reserves in before someone gets hurt. Oh, we will. Don't you worry. Dayton and Savannah State are your favorite offenses. I like them both. They are very nice. Yeah, that play got blown up. Get out of here. Tank Taylor, six tackles, four for a loss tonight. Wow. Another stream after this? No, sir. This is the only one tonight. Tomorrow night is going to be one as well. Uh, Savannah State, number one team in the land, taking on the number two ranked VMI Cadets. Oh, nice move. Oh, he got lit up. Yeah, I just, I don't have the energy to do double headers. Maybe once a week after after work at night. Who's my favorite defense in this series? Oh man. I don't know, Dayton's got a great defense, Savannah State has a great defense, VMI, another one that has a great defense, Bryant Bulldogs, UC Davis, I don't know if I can just pick one. Get it, oh my goodness, Fowler again, oh that's a pick six baby, let's go, John Fowler, to the house. Yeah, Cal Poly's defense is great, too. Pretty much all of our defenses in this series are are really solid now. I mean, even South Dakota State, the first two seasons, their defense was trash. This season, they are pretty good. Was I born in 91? Yes, sir. Just turned 29 uh, exactly three weeks ago today. Uh-oh. They've had some pretty decent returns on kickoffs today. So you guys have good defense? Uh... 
Yeah, their defense is decent. If they just had a little bit more speed, they'd be really, really good. Oh, boy. Come on, John, get him. Just tackle him. Good Lord. The team who I think will win it all this season? Oh, man, I don't know. It's too tough. Too tough to call right now. There's so many teams of ours that are just undefeated and just dominating everyone. We really got to get through um, some more subscriber versus subscriber games and see how teams really fare. Because those, those are the games that are really going to matter. Fullback punches it in for the touchdown. Bunch of old guys in the stream. John Jensen and Mr. Bill Stevens. I love the, the demographic of this channel. It's just, it ranges from you know, early teens to 60s. <laughs> it's awesome. Everybody can enjoy some college football. All right, Les Malone. Looks for the 19 yard line. I don't normally do mass subs, so we'll, we'll see how this works out. Football's a unifying thing. Yes, sir. I love football. Football is my first love. First thing I ever fell in love with. I was four years old. Project Crusade, what's going on, man? Working on contracts, click back to see 63.4. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a little rough in Montana, I can't lie. I literally just did mass subs. You got, you know, fifth and sixth string players in here now. They say you look about 42, John. Nice. If I shave my, my beard and mustache, I look like I'm, like, 19. Smash Jackson weaving his way through traffic. And he is still going all the way inside the red zone. What a run from Smash Jackson. Let's go. Started collecting cards at five for football and baseball. Nice. I still remember the first pack of football cards I ever got way back in the 90s. Um, it was for my birthday. I actually got, I think, 10 to 15 packs of football cards. And, of course, you know, my parents bought me a, a binder, and the pages where you can put the cards and stuff. Um... The first card that I ever saw when I opened the first pack was Tishminga Biakabatuka. It was the, like the greatest name of all time. I love it. I still have those cards to this day. I'm not going to lie, I definitely thought that I was running a different play right there. Put that name in the dynasty. Tishminga, Bianca Batuka, old Carolina Panthers legend. <laughs> All right, that is the end of the third quarter, guys. It's 63 to 24. Get your followers up in the chat.
Like my first football game I ever played on any system? Oh man, another good question. Oh, this is an easy touchdown. Gary Brody with the touchdown for the Flyers. We're gonna have a 70 burger here. So the first football game I ever played, it was probably on the Super Nintendo. So it was probably one of the early Maddens on there. In the mid 90s. But I've played pretty much every football game. Looks like Tyler Rocky's going to be uh, almost on point with a score prediction of 71-24. Unreal. Give that man a cookie. I just got leveled. Why is Jared Martin out on kickoffs? See, this is why I don't do mass subs, because our backup quarterback is on kickoff. What is this? Joe Montana football in the Sega Genesis. Yeah, buddy. Marcus Malm in the chat. What's going on, man? F. Ed O'Bannon. I 100% agree. But that man had to get the bag. He had to get that money. Get him. How you gonna let him moss you like that, bruh? What you doing? How many seasons left for the Tar Heels Dynasty? Well, if we're in season four, oh, we're gonna complete that one and then do one more. I try to do five seasons for those series. Quick pass, left side, that went nowhere. Fowler back in. <laughs> Don't want you to get hurt, man. There's no point right now. If I put you back in there and you get hurt, I'll be so sad. I'll cry. All right, third down. Backup defense trying to get a stop here. Oh, I got played right there. That was just an awkward, awkward play. Should be Nebraska next dynasty. Uh, no, I think for NCAA 05, which is going to be the next one that we do, I have a creative team. So we'll be doing a creative team for that one. It is 70 to 31. This is like a Big 12 game. My goodness. Creating off the wall Division three school. <laughs> no, I already, I already have a team made and everything for 05. Miami Tech Stingrays. No. I, I already got one, guys. I mean, you guys can keep guessing, but I'm telling you, you're all gonna be wrong. <laughs> it's not a, it's not an actual school or anything, but it, it is something that you know could be possible. And I will have, I will have multiple rivals for that series. I can't tell you who it is, John. I, I can't do it. I can't reveal my secrets. And this is a false start. Great. 
Yeah, you'll, you'll all see the, the team after the Tarhis dynasty is over. I will reveal them. Just gonna keep running the clock out now. Client State Postman, oh my goodness. <laughs> Punt it. Get the punter some work. Yeah, Mount Union was a lot of fun to watch. I'm sure they're still good, but I haven't really heard too much about them lately. Yeah, pretty good punt inside the 20-yard line. Grizzlies will come back out on offense again, needing 89 yards for a touchdown. Chaos yeah, Driven back in the chat, having uh, some phone issues. Feels bad. Feels real bad, man. I'm surprised that you didn't select Dayton for your team of choice. Since you're from Ohio. We have five interceptions this game. My goodness. All right, let's go. Row inside the 10-yard line. Used to be D3 and they won a few stag bowls. Nice, nice. He had a better offer from the coach of Utah. Oh, he was wide open. Hey, at least your team makes it to the college football playoffs, Zachary. Jared Martin is not an option quarterback. All right, third down and goal. Just trying to put in some work for these other guys that don't get a lot of playing time. This team is so just stacked. It's, it's hard to get everybody on the field. And there's a touchdown pass from Jared Martin. Let's go. That's good that he did a good job of recruiting. And it's what he's supposed to do. Jared Martin will be happy with that one. Haven't seen him in a stream since the national championship game. He was a little bit upset that he didn't get any playing time. Not much I can do when it's computer versus computer. Get the 80 burger? I don't know, John. There's only a minute and a half left, but. We've had a lot of high-scoring games this season. Yeah. 
And in the offseason, I, I made the game more difficult, too. So, I'm just that good, guys. I'm that good. I feel like this season you can win it all, but it will be tough. Yeah, it's definitely going to be tough. And it's going to be interesting to see all the computer versus computer games in the Pac-10. Because that's really going to shake things up. Like last season, we had like a three-way tie in the final week. And UC Davis ended up winning it, winning the Pac-10. Why is he doing push-ups on my field when you're down by a bajillion? Imagine you score 31 and lose by 40, right? Feels real bad. Get him! You're the best around! That's right, Jamar. That's right. Alright, who. Okay, what was that play? My goodness. Why do they keep taunting right now? Stop it. You're literally losing by a million. Just stop. I don't know why they're taunting, man. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> They've always done it in this game for some reason. Like, what do you mean? Dorian were a 7 of 10, 229 yards, 5 touchdowns. Good lordy. Yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying before. I, I made, in the offseason, I made the game more difficult. I adjusted a bunch of the sliders. You know, quite significantly, like 10 here, 10 there. So, it's more difficult this season than it was in the past season. So, I don't know. We just keep scoring lots and lots of points, though. Yeah, good luck hearing anything. And a nice deflection. Let's go. Fourth down. Obviously, they're going to go for it. I'm going to call a timeout because my defense is completely gassed right now. Fourth and ten for the game. Not really. Come on, Joey Garrett interception. Let's go. Nope. Nice deflection by Douglas. Do I think the Thunderbirds can win week six or not? Who are you facing? I can't remember, man. I don't have the schedules memorized. Smash Jackson to the outside. Look out! Smash Jackson still going. Oh, the way down the 25 yard line. Ooh, baby, let's go. Oh, you're taking on Tennessee State in week six? That's going to be a blowout. Thunderbirds by 50. What's up? Jackson deceptively agile on that last play. Whee! Who wants it? That's game 77 31. Number three Dayton Flyers destroy the number 10 ranked Montana Grizzlies. Wasn't even close, guys. It was not even close. I have a feeling Montana's going to drop like 10 spots after this uh, crushing defeat. Especially since it's a conference matchup as well. And they got absolutely torched. Like, just get out of my stadium, get off my field, and don't come back. We had five interceptions. They had no penalties. Like, what is that? Come on. And we have five. Insane. 
Flyers are not 4 0. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, man. I'll be on the PS4 when I'm done. So the point spread was, uh, I believe, 7 for this game. And yeah, I, it's 77 31. So things happen. <laughs> bad, bad things happen in Montana today. Alright, John. Take it easy, man. My goodness. They had no rush defense at all. Three touchdown catches for Amari Manuel on three receptions. That's that's pretty good numbers. Two catches for Trent Green, two touchdowns. One catch for Brandon Cohen, one touchdown. When have you ever seen that before? All right, Bill, take it easy, man. Appreciate you stopping by the stream, of course. The game was over in the first quarter. Well, I mean, Montana tried to stay in there. Look at these tackles. My goodness. If Rob Orlando doesn't go top five in the EFL draft, uh, you guys are smoking something. And whatever it is, I want some. All right, Zachary, take it easy, bud. Appreciate you stopping by the stream, man. Wait, did someone get injured? Oh, okay, it was just All-American. Sick. We didn't sack the quarterback once. John Fowler, two picks today. Rob Orlandi with two, and Joey Garrett with one as well. Six deflections for Zach Douglas. Good Lord. Three forced fumbles. Of course, we did not recover any. John Fowler with a pick six. And that will do it. Amari Manuel, 61-yard kick return, and a 79-yard punt return for a touchdown for Gloves Malone today. What a beatdown this was. I, I definitely thought it was going to be a lot closer than this. Uh, Dorian Wurst, six touchdowns today. Insane. But I definitely 100% thought that they were going to put up a better fight than that. Our next game is going to be number one Savannah State. Traveling to take on the number two VMI Cadets. That one's going to be out tomorrow around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It just all depends on when I get home from work. Because it's not like a set schedule. We just keep going until all the packages are, you know, put in place. At good old UPS. But anyways, that is it for this stream, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please slap the like button, subscribe if you're new, and join our lovely Discord community today to get your college football career started here in the FCS Dynasty. Take it easy, guys.